So I have a very random question. It's not on any of, of these sheets of paper and just answer if you can. If you guys had to go a week without a PC at school, do you think you would be able to do it? And kind of what would be your challenges? I mean, we've talked about a number of ways you use your device, your PCs now, whether it's as a TV, a music system, a gaming system. Um, but if you didn't have that, like Christine and I seven years ago, what would you? I mean, what would you do? Am I allowed to use my iPad? No, 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 no. 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 Like we could use our own personal thing, but we could use a school computer. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, no. Geez, silly. I'm talking typewriter style. Like, what would you, <laughs> you know, what would you do without access to a PC for one week? Die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so basically, what we're, what we're, what we've been discussing is how critical a good PC, good technology is to being a successful student. So, I mean, what would you do without that? Um, <laughs> the quietest like, I've heard you guys I know. <laughs> all day. Like, oh, honestly, I it hasn't really been that long that I've been living like just immersed in technology, but it's just it's so like having a smart like even like a smartphone for the past two or three months, it's just so much a part of my life that it's like attached to me. So like I honestly I don't know what I would do. This is a really dystopian question. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys. Yeah. Three folders. Yeah. Extra PDA. Yeah. This is like the old PDA. school life hacking. Yeah. yeah this, is what, this is what Chris and I started out with. Yeah. <laughs> We're new school. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think that's, you make a good point, though, is that for sure you can go back to the old ways. You can take out a pen and paper, and you can keep your notebook in your in your in your backpack. But really, with without technology, all you're doing is it, you can do everything you can do now. It's just a little bit more difficult. You know, like you mentioned earlier, research now, you can do it in two seconds, as opposed to searching through textbooks, getting references, you know, going to the library. So, I mean, I don't know, computers are definitely enabling us to do things better, more efficient, but I, I still think that we can, we are still capable of doing anything we want to do, just got to make sure, you take a little bit more time, plan a few more extra hours in your, yeah. in your week. And then you're, you know, and then you're... You're not planning your schedule. Your, your schedule is like planning for you when you're having to do things like I that. I just feel like school is so connected with technology now. I can't even fathom that at all. Yeah. Like, well, I remember when I was graduating, so 2007, huge difference from 2003, um, my professor started putting presentations and notes online um, and the syllabus online because they didn't want to print out paper. Um, so I don't even think I could function now in the classroom without, especially as a communication major where you're editing video and that's part of your curriculum, I don't think I could function without technology. Mm -hmm. I think the thing we forget about too is that, um, like I work, I work for EMS study in Camden, and so the, we have a lot of our clients who can't attend a normal university, they, just because of physical limitations, so they actually rely on the computer and the internet mm -hmm. to receive their education, and wow. so to them, it's it is crucial yeah. to have a computer that works and that and that can get the job the job done. So I think it really it's a big deal being able to use a computer and really enabling students. The other thing too is school is going kind of going away from an eight to three o'clock kind of thing. Right. You know, five days a week. It's going to 24/7, 365. Mm -hmm. You know, where you can learn at home at any point. If you want to learn at 4 a.m., go ahead. I mean, I'm taking a taking a few online courses this semester and. I think that's the way the future is going in terms of education. So I think we need to kind of embrace it and hope that the computers can keep up with us because or else um, we're stuck. We're stuck back in the stone age in the classroom. Yeah.